were telling you how important it is that a person learn Torah, and he has finds ways to overcome the Yetzara, and he has to make sure to know the battle plans in order to fight the Yetzara. So the question is, why do we all fall? Why are we not busy studying Torah? Why are we not learning the tools for to beat the Yetzara? We have the tools, we have the solution in front of us. So he says, what the Yetzara does is he knows. If you learn and you have the tools, you will beat him. So what does he do? He makes it that you have no time to learn. He makes it that you're busy with a bazillion and one things. And he says that you to the point where you're so busy, you don't have the energy, you don't have the time, you don't have the patience to go and learn any of the tools to go beat the Yetzara, because the Yetzara knows if you use your brain and you you learn some Torah and get some holiness, he's toast. So what does he do? He doesn't even give you a chance to learn. What does he do? No, you can't go to lecture. You know why? Because you have a Yeshvo. You know why you can't go to lecture? Because you have a wedding. You know why you can't go to lecture? Because you have to go out with your buddies. You know why you have to go to lecture? Because of this. You get uh, a million and one things all of a sudden always come up. And what happens? Then you never learn. Then you never get the tools. Then you never can beat the Yitzhak. And it's, you're like on a, on the hamster wheel, you know? Never stop going, 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 going. You as a, especially in New York, of all places. So much happening. There's nowhere, no time to breathe. There's not enough hours in the day. And just like the Jewish people in Mitzrayim, Paro did not let them have a chance to think about, did I put in today? Did I say a brachot today? Did I pray today? It was just work, 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 day and night, day and night, work, 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 come home, exhausted, just just give me food. He would tell his wife, just give me food. Let me let me just rest. Let me go to sleep. He falls on the bed and just passes out. He has no time to think about me. So no time to learn, no time to talk to his creator. And what? And some people still live like this today. They're busy with work. By the time they come home from work, they're on their phone. And by the time they're the kids, and by the time the wife, by the time this, by the time that. So Rabbi, just send me the cool recording, Rabbi. I can't make it to the class. Can you just send me the recording? I'll listen to it in the car. While I'm driving, I'll half listen. This is what the Yetzirah does. It doesn't make it. You could come and sit and look at the Rabbi and get Yerat Shamayim and learn. And, 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 and even when people learn, when they come to learn, they're, they're on the phone buzzing and, they, and they're, they're distracted and they, 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 they walk out, they walk in. There's millions of things the Yetzirah could do to make it that you don't give full attention because he knows if you give full attention, then you're going to beat the Yetzirah. So what does the Yetzirah do? It makes it that you're so busy with so many things Person could be on WhatsApp. Person can be on YouTube. A person could be uh, watching TV, Netflix. As of Shalom, it could be so many things at night in the evenings. In order, they all for what? Then you shouldn't learn. God forbid, says the Yetzara. Don't learn because he knows once you start learning, then he's gonna start uh, disappearing from your life. So therefore, he so he tries to take you away your attention today. All the social media giants, all of the advertisement world, they know. The most expensive and most worth, uh, worthwhile investment is people's attention. What are people looking at? Look at those commercials in the Super Bowl. People pay millions of dollars for it for a couple seconds. Why? Because those eyes, those attention. What are they going to see? What are they going to be busy with in their free time between the game? We got to grab their attention. We got to grab their eyes. We can't let them go. Because you see, they know the power of attention. They know the power of time. And today, those 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 videos that the kids are watching all day, those six second videos, they think it's just six seconds, Rabbi. What's the big deal? And it's addicting. He goes next to another six second, another six second. Guy told me I use the app, I watched the videos, I spent two hours. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize it flew by. I thought it was just another six second video, another six second video, and two hours passed just like that. And that's how the answer gets you. You had free time. He says just a little bit. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Five minutes, you're gonna go. And then what happens when you go to lay down on the couch for five minutes? You pass out and two hours pass. You know, the Yitzhara grabs you on the phone, on your this, and then that. The person is to know, if we sit in the weddings for an hour, waiting for the Hatan Kalat to come out, you know, especially the Bukhayim weddings, you know, 50 people have to come out before, right? And then and then we give that time. And then what? Then we all wait in the Yoshvo for, for a couple hours to, to let everybody give their speeches. Even though we not, might not be listening, even though it might be a little bit boring, right? We go to Levaya, we go to all these places where there's a lot of downtime, there's a lot of time wasted. And we go and we dedicate it and we say, listen, I have to do it, it's the right thing to do. A person should do the same thing for Torah learning. He should go no matter what. Just like guy tells me, Rabbi, I can't go to the Yeshua. What are you talking about? So you know, he, he, he's gonna get upset at me. You should feel the same way with the Kadosh Baruch Hu. 
How can I go and no face to Hashem? How could Hashem, Hashem is going to get upset at me? I shouldn't go. Of course, I have to give honor to Hashem. Person sits there and he's bored and he's not always entertained. Rabbi, I can't come to the lecture. You know, it's very long. It's boring. I'm not always interested. Person has to know, you sit in the wedding. You sit in the yeshvo. You sit in the places that are boring also. Even though there's nothing happening. You have to go also to the Torah and do the same respect you do to people. And you have to do the same for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So we should zocheh. Then we should not give in to the Yitzhara. Don't let him take our attention. Don't let him take our most precious thing, which is our time.